Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a cool manipulation using this space image that I found online. Uh, I went ahead and put a link to the download for this in the description, along with a download to this grunge texture here. Now, the first thing we want to do is we're going to make sure both of those layers are there, and then hit Control T on our grunge layer. And we're going to want to scale this down to where it's around the size of the planet that we're going to be creating, because as you can see, this image here only has this little, little bitty planet down at the bottom, and that's definitely not what we want. So around there, we're then going to use our rectangular, rectangular marquee tool, pull down Shift and Alt. Click and drag out until we have a nice size selection, something kind of like that. The control shift I inverse and hit delete. And you can see there we now have a nice cutout. Now, if you have the capability to do 3D with the Photoshop, I recommend doing it that way. If you don't, this is another great method you have to do it. So we're going to go ahead and first of all drop a shadow on this. And I want to put that distance up to about 11 and then up the size to about 30. From there, we're going to go ahead and do an inner shadow and we're going to our distance to about 17, up our choke to 27 or so, then we're going to adjust our size down, and the distance is basically what we're going to be mostly concerned with, because we want to go ahead and get the, uh, we want to go ahead and get it up into that corner over there, so about like that. Now that we have that, you can play with the satin if you want to, um, get some cool different effects on there, uh, maybe change up the colors a little bit, maybe add a little bit of a, an actual color into it, kind of like that, maybe a little bit of blue or maybe red, red's pretty cool, so we'll do that a little bit. Actually, let's do it. Just leave a little bit on the edge there. That looks really sweet. All right, so now that we have that, we, we can now place our planet anywhere in the scene that we want. I'm just going to kind of place it in here. It doesn't have to be super, super perfect, but, you know, something nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new layer um, beneath the uh, planet scene. And we're going to use some brushes here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab just kind of this this lighter color in here. And I know it's hard to see, but it basically is kind of like this color here, give or take. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go ahead and go to um, replace brushes. And I went ahead and downloaded these uh, Roman brushes, uh, of which the link is in the description below too as well. And this is the one we want right here. And we'll uh, actually that's not the one. Hang on. Uh, replace brushes. There we go, this is the one. And it's this brush right here is the one that I want. Now you can mess around with these and get it to look different ways and do whatever you want with it. But this is the brush that I've already kind of used and decided I like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first of all, create a black layer, use our paintbrush, and just kind of place this right there in the center like that. And then we're going to go ahead and hit V to move it around. We're going to kind of center it right like that, and we're going to drop that on top. And from there, we're going to go to Overlay, and Lighter Cooler. You can use any of these uh, modifiers that you want to get the effect that you're after. And Screen actually looks pretty good, so I'll stick with that. And I'm also going to create another layer here, and that, that one's kind of a cool color. So now I'm going to create a nice bright green. But again, I'm going to use a different brush for this one. So probably this one, put it to around 1,000 again. And just click and drag that once. And I might scale that down a little bit. So I just want to kind of make it be part of the whole planet thing. And then we'll go ahead and go to hue saturation on that. Because I definitely want to change up the colors on that some. We can just lighten that a little bit. And I'm actually really digging the, the 
this other color greenish blue in there with it. Kind of And then I'm going to go over here to uh, hue saturation on this. Kind of adjust it a little bit. It's more of a purple style. We'll up that saturation, kind of make it pop a little bit more. And leave that at zero. And that looks pretty good. We may want to change the color up some more. Depending, just uh, you want to get two colors that are kind of somewhat similarly close, but not super duper close, because you definitely want to be able to make the distinction between the two. And right about there is what I'm talking about. That looks really neat. Now, this thing needs a little bit of work. So we're going to go ahead and up the choke some more. Here we're gonna go ahead and make them a little bit bigger. So we definitely have a C on that planet. And that looks pretty good. Now I want to go ahead and make this whole thing black. And then I'm gonna use my blending mode because I wanna kind of darken this whole background part so that planet really stands out kind of like that. So on soft light it looks pretty good. And from there we can then grab pixelforlife.com we'll go ahead and grab this color here like that and we'll kind of place it there we'll duplicate that layer this one below we'll go to filter blur and motion blur hit ok just put it on an angle a little bit of distance just like that, we've created our own photo manipulation with a space scene and a moon, and it looks really sick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick lesson. Be sure to comment, rate, and uh, hit that like button. It's really helps us out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.